And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes. And it's been a little while since we did this, but we are back with a tier list for NBA 2K21. My team used to do these a lot in 2K20. Just a little heads up, I plan on doing these once a month at the end of the month. Um, just because doing them too often is honestly completely fucking pointless, just because we get new cards twice a week in 2K. So doing them at the end of the month seems the most appropriate. So before we get started, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate everyone who's subscribed lately. I've gotten like 150 new subscribers since 2K21 came out. I appreciate that. The goal is to get to 1K, so please help me out on that road. Other than that, parameters. S tier, unquestionable gods. A tier, incredibly usable, some of the better cards in the game. B tier, very usable, especially if you're doing like a no money spent or a budget squad. C tier, usable in the right hands, um, but typically not for everyone. And then D tier, only used in extreme cases if you need to for challenges, agenda challenges, stuff like that. But in no way, shape, or form will be better than any of these guys. And the reason I don't have an F tier like I normally do or like a worthless tier is just because at this stage in the game, every card is usable in one way, shape, or form. So it's like, there's no point in doing that. So let's get started with Allen Iverson, the starter card. Um, the Allen Iverson starter card actually isn't that bad. And especially if you're playing like a rim running type style, you can definitely get away with it. I will put it at C though, just because there's, even at that style, there's so many better options than Allen Iverson. But if you're doing like a NMS no money squad or something like that, he's still really usable, especially for limited runs and stuff like that. Next up, we got Stefan Marbury. If you did grind for him, uh, he's B tier at this stage. I can't put him at the same spot as Allen Iverson. He's pretty good. There are people who say he's a better Derrick Rose. I don't see it like at all. I don't see it, but hey, he does the job, especially if you grinded, especially for like the first <laughs> few weeks of TTO where it was damn near impossible to win games. If you went and got stuff on Marbury, dude, use it for sure. Next up, we got Patty Mills. I'd probably put him in B tier along with stuff on Marbury just because he's got base 98. He's a lights out shooter. If you shoot with the button, so if you shoot meter timing, he's probably one of the better point guards shooting wise in this game. If you shoot with the shot stick, I wouldn't chastise you for dropping him down to B. He does lack on defense and he's a little bit small, but I'll keep him at B for now. That's just me. Mike Bibby, C. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with Mike Bibby. He's just not that great and his bad situation isn't that great either. He doesn't have a wonderful jump shot like Patty Mills does to kind of catapult him up a level. So, Bob Cousy. I'm going to put him in A. And the reason I'm putting him in A instead of S, because he is a pink diamond, so inevitably someone's going to want to put him in S. Just strictly because there's guys who do what he does better. Um, I will say he's like a higher A tier, but I can't justify putting him in S when there's other cards that do similar things and they don't cost as much to lock in for. Next up, we got Starter Dame. Everyone who got the games can basically got this card and... Right off the rip, I mean, he has 41 badges, which is huge, especially for a card <coughs> of his stature that everyone has. <coughs> I mean, he's legitimately better than a lot of the rewards and things like that that we got early on. I will put him in C tier, though, just because I think these guys are obviously better than him. But he does have upgradable badges. You can get him up to gold range, which is huge. Um, Things like that. He is still a very usable card, and if you run into someone using him, you might think, oh, he's just starting out the game, but if he has a nice elite squad next to him, you might be in trouble, because people who use this Dame card use this Dame card. Next up, we got Damon Stoudemire. I think he's down here middle of the pack, too. He is a really good card, but he is a little bit small. Um, you can't apply badges to him, and that Evo is kind of a grind, so I wouldn't say he's up on this level by any means. Next, we got Mo Cheeks. Mo Cheeks is a weird one just because it depends on the situation. Because, like, under normal circumstances, he's C tier. Like, he's usable in the right hands, but it's not someone I would recommend using. But he's pretty much been a part of every limited run this entire year already. And in certain limited runs, he's S tier. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, the limited run where you could only use guys 70 and below in three pointer, he was an S tier point guard. He was the absolute best point guard, bar none, that existed in that limited run. So there are times where some of these guys are gonna propel from like C tier to S tier. Um, 
and he plays excellent defense and things like that. So I'd probably keep him right here. I might move him out to B just because of that versatility. Uh, Steph. I guess I put him in B. I don't like Steph Curry, but people who are good with Steph are really good with Steph. Plus, he has a dynamic duo with Clay. It makes sense to put him right here. That being said, he has no hot zones on the floor, and that actually is a huge problem. Just because in 2K right now, hot zones are king. So, that does hurt him a lot. Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas is A tier for sure. He's actually a really good card. Good defensive badges, can drive the hole really well, has Hall of Fame Dimer and Floor General. Those two badges themselves are incredibly huge right now at this stage. So, Next up, we got Jason Kidd. Um, I would say Jason Kidd's probably A tier as well, to be honest with you. Um, 30 gold badges, all solid. Dimer, Floor General, a lot of defensive badges. He has a slow jump shot, but if you're shooting with the stick, it's not a big deal. So... I'd probably put him in A tier. And you know what? I'd probably move him down to B, just because Isaiah Thomas does literally everything Jason Kidd does, but better. Jason Kidd just is a little bit bigger. So I'd probably drop him down here and put him above everyone at B tier. Like, he's definitely better than all of them. He may move up to A, it just kind of depends. That being said, Sleepy Floyd is A tier. Sleepy Floyd is a quality card. My man is insane. He can really hit the three. He has a decent moving shot, too, so you can hit leaners with him pretty nice. Um, he drives the hole good. He has a good dunk. Um, I should say well. But there's not really too many things that this Sleepy Floyd card does negatively, like at all. Yeah, he's a little small to play the two guard, because I know a lot of people do run the two-point guard lineups for speed. Um, and he is a fast card as well, so I'll keep him right there. Next up, we got Fat Lever. Uh, I mean, Fat Lever is just, yeah. He's just there. He's probably on the lower end of B tier, to be honest with you. He might even move to C tier. It just kind of depends. We really haven't had any D tier cards yet, to be honest with you. All these guys are usable in the right hands. Uh, Dennis Johnson, I would say he's B tier as well. Great passer, great defensive card. Can't shoot to save his fucking life. He's really just a better version of Mochiks. Like, that's all he is. They even kind of look the same. Uh, Dave Bing. He's okay. He's, he's okay. There's nothing really great I can say about him. He belongs smack dab in the middle in B tier. Uh, World Be Free, same thing. Like, there's nothing really incredibly good I can say about World Be Free. He's just kind of there. Gus Williams. Uh, Gus Williams is still one of the fastest cards in the game. For that, I will put him in A tier. But he has lost a lot of his effectiveness just because you can shoot in 2K now. When you couldn't shoot in 2K, he was unstoppable. Legitimately the best card in the entire game. But... Yeah, I, don't, I just don't see it anymore. He might even drop down to B tier, to be honest with you. I'm just going to keep him here just because he was so dominant for so long, and he's still incredibly usable. But he does... You know, I'm going to drop him down to B just because he's such a liability in your spacing because he can't shoot that <clears throat> putting him in A tier, I, just, I can't put him in A tier. And to be honest with you, is he better than Jason Kidd? Not really, so I can't really do that. Um, Doc Rivers, I mean... Once again, he's just okay. Like, there's nothing much I can say about him. He's just kind of there. Now I can actually put him in the tier because people have gotten him. Obviously, Steph Curry is going to be S tier. Um, without a doubt, one of the best shooting point guards in this entire game. But he can also rim run a little bit, too. And he has some defensive badges. He's the best point guard in this game, in my opinion, at this stage. So, Bobby Jackson. C. Still incredibly fast. Can drive right past people. Not someone I would recommend using, but he is okay, so. Terrell Brandon, C. He's just kind of there. I don't think he's much better than any of these guys. I'll probably drop Fat Lever. Eh, Fat Lever can stay. I'll probably drop World Be Free down. He's just not that great. He is a good card, though. Mm, I'll keep him up here. Can't say he's that much worse than Doc Rivers or better, to be honest with you. Uh, Earl Monroe. He's okay. B. He's usable. That's all I can really say about him. Kyrie, to be honest with you, the reason I'm putting him in B, he's like where Jason Kidd is because there's a couple guys in A tier that do what he does but significantly better, and that's why I'm putting him in B tier. Like, I wouldn't say he's on par with those guys just because they have other badges that are much better, so they do a little bit more and they bring a little more to the table, and obviously Kyrie is such a defensive liability. It's just hard to really put him in A tier. Norm Nixon, that's my first D tier guy. He's god-awful. Like, he's so bad. 
I, I just don't like Norm Nixon. I don't like his jump shot. I don't like anything about him. I would just try to use anyone else. All these guys are better than Norm Nixon, to be honest with you. Like, stats-wise, obviously they're not. But I just think they are. That's just me. Derrick Rose, A tier. Yeah, I know what I said about Gus Williams, right? I know I said his lack of shooting does bring liability to your team. But Derrick Rose, if you play any bit of rim running whatsoever, Derrick Rose is the most unstoppable card in this game. It is extremely rare that he gets stopped driving to the basket. He almost allows you to score two points 90% of the time on offense. And not only that, if you're playing a five-out type scenario and you have guys on the corner and you upgrade some of his passing attributes, Derrick Rose becomes one of the best cards in the game, point guard or not. He does everything Gus Williams does, but he dunks at a significantly higher clip. Uh, Freddie Lewis, honestly, I haven't played with this card, but just looking at him, he deserve, He looks like he deserves to be in C or D. Especially when you take into account that you have to lock in a bunch of tokens for him. He doesn't seem to be worth it. Gary Payton... I would say Gary Payton's B tier. He's incredible defensively, but he's terrible on offense. I think he deserves to be right around these guys. Like, that's just me. Probably going to drop some of these B tier guys down once B tier starts filling up. Steve Nash is A tier. Um, what I said about Kyrie, Steve Nash is just a better version of Kyrie in every single way. Plus, he has Hall of Fame Dimer, Hall of Fame Floor General. Like I said, he does everything a little better than Kyrie. He even plays defense just a little bit better than Kyrie does. He, Kyrie can dunk a little bit more and stuff like that, but I like Steve Nash's jump shot a little more. There's just, there's no way for me to say that Kyrie is on the same par as Steve Nash. He's just, Steve Nash is just better. Kenny Smith. Kenny Smith is a monster, dude. He really is. He's like a worse version of Sleepy Floyd. Like, legitimately a worse version of Sleepy Floyd. There's nothing I can really say about that. I am going to drop a couple guys down here, um, down to C tier. Patty Mills offensively is really good, but I'll probably drop Earl Monroe. He's kind of just there. Um, Gus Williams will stay. Kenny, all these guys can probably stay. Yeah, I'll keep all these guys. They're all middle of the pack. I'll just drop Earl Monroe. Um, Jerry West. Depends on your play style. Some play styles, he'll absolutely be A tier. Some he'll be down in B or C tier. It really just kind of depends on how you play the game. If you rim run, he's not incredibly great. If you're a three hunter, he is going to be really good for you. Um, I'll probably put him right next to Steve Nash. They're very similar guys. Um, you know what? I'll actually put him right next to Kyrie. They're they're very similar the way they operate. Jerry West is a little bit small, but he has a long wingspan. Um, he does drive the hole, but he doesn't really dunk. Um, I'll still put him in A though. He's he's a good card. That's that's just me. It just depends on your play style. That's why I'll dro you know I'll drop him to B. If you're a rim runner, he's not going to be good for you. If you're a three hunter, he's going to be great for you. He's going to fluctuate somewhere between A and C, depending on how you play the game. So I'll leave him right there. Uh, Walt Fraser, <laughs> he's awful. He's just bad. He, he plays okay defense, but he's a worse version of Mo Cheeks. So I can't justify actually putting him up on this level with these guys, just because that's how it is. Our other member of S tier is John Stockton. This John Stockton can not only hit threes at an incredibly high clip, he's got a good jump shot, he has a dunk that is almost unstoppable. He's Derrick Rose with threes. Like, that's all he is. And he has better passing attributes, um, better dribble moves. Everything's better with this guy. Um, Van Exel. Honestly, Van Exel is pretty bad. Yeah, I would say Damon Stoudemire, even being smaller, is better than him. Um, to a certain extent, this Dame Lillard starter card is better than Nick Van Exel, especially when you level up some of his badges um, and you badge him up a little bit. He's definitely better than Nick Van Exel. He can upgrade more badges and more important badges at that. So, But is Van Exel really worse than Earl Monroe? Is he really worse than Bobby Jackson? Mm, I'll keep him there, but it's tough. JoJo White's okay. He's a good defensive card, but... What's well, keeping him out of A tier is just because all these guys I would use over JoJo White, and to be honest with you, I would put him at like the top of B tier, but just with the amount of tokens you have to lock in for him, we're 14 days away from getting a whole new token market, so there's really no point in doing that. We're going to get better cards in 14 days. That's just my main thing I wanted to say. Um, Kenny Anderson, he's just kind of there. Low badge count, costs 30 tokens to lock in, there's not really too much hype on him. 
Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry is pretty solid. Um, I would say that he's better than a lot of these guys. Terrell Brandon's pretty decent, but I would still take Kyle Lowry because he plays better defense. Um, and you can upgrade some of his badges a little more. I don't know. It, that's personal preference, so yell at me in the comments over that one. Uh, Mahmood, he was really good when he came out, but he's he's not good <laughs> at this stage. Nate Archibald. Nate Archibald is okay, but he's too small, and uh, I can't say he's worse than Kenny Jack, Kenny Anderson, though. Like, he's about right here. He's in these tier of C-tier, guys. Um, anyways, that's the list. There aren't that many point guards, but I did want to tier them out, and that'll help you out when you're going to actually buy point guards. So, just a quick review. Steph and John Stockton are a tier above literally everyone. Uh, but Bob Cousy, Isaiah Thomas, Sleepy Floyd, Derrick Rose, Steve Nash, they're all right there. All more than usable. You'll run into these seven guys a lot online. Down in B tier, all acceptable cards to use. Um, though they do have glaring problems and they're not as good as the guys in A tier. Um, JoJo White, decent. Kyrie Irving is a great sniper card, but at the same time you can buy Steve Nash who's just a better version. Um, Jason Kidd is a really good card, but to be honest with you, Sleepy Floyd and Isaiah Thomas are better than him. Gary Payton's a great defensive card, but he's bringing you almost nothing on offense. Jerry West is a great three-point sniper, but at the same time, he's got a really terrible moving moving shot. Not even a moving three, just a moving shot in general. Um, you can equip range on him and stuff like that, so he does have his uses, but to, for my money, Steve Nash is just a better version of Jerry West anyway. Same with Kyrie. Like... These two are, I think Jerry West is a little better than Kyrie, I will say that, but Steve Nash is still better than all of them. Kenny Smith is just a budget version of Sleepy Floyd. Um, Kenny Smith does have a nice moving three, though. Stephon Marbury is a good card, but he's not as good as Derrick Rose, in my opinion, which is what keeps him down here. You know, the rest of these guys, Patty Mills, great budget sniper. Steph's okay, but doesn't have hot zones. Fat Lever's just kind of there. Um... Dennis Johnson's a great defensive card, but that's it. Gus Williams is a great speed demon card, but Derrick Rose is still better than him. Doc Rivers is just aggressively okay. Same with World B Free and Kyle Lowry. They're all just kind of there. Down in C tier, these guys are all usable for sure, but it's one of those things like you're not going to see anyone bringing Bobby Jackson into their unlimited lineup at this stage, but he does have his uses. Um, these guys all either lock-ins or... In this case, TTO awards, it's not worth it. And these guys, honestly, are just not good, and you'll never see anyone use them. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Jump in the comments. Let me know what you think of the tiers. If you have any guys going up, going down, let me know. Um, I'm always down for feedback and all that. So anyways, thank you for watching the video, and thank you for subscribing. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you. So.